time, Ueki battles it out with Hayao Odachi. Odachi gives Ueki a serious fight, using his power to change cotton into steaks. In the end, Ueki has what it takes to win the match. The problem is what happens after. Ueki's strong sense of justice leads him to hurt someone who isn't part of the battle. Oh, brother. This time he loses his talent to run. What a doofus! Episode 4, The Law of Liho, The Man of Physical Skills. kids we should watch out for. <laughs> Leo, he's more the sort to rely on his physical skills than his power. Marilyn Carey. Might as well include her since she's so cute. You sure about that? Seiichi Rosano. He seems to be the most balanced of them all. And next, Robert Hayden. This student definitely stands ahead of the pack. And another one with green hair, I see. This battle's getting more and more interesting all the time. You seem to be enjoying this, Your Majesty. I certainly am. In this era, only people with certain types of experience can make a difference in the world. Kind of boring, if you want my personal opinion. Let's shake things up. Why not place the world in the hands of inexperienced junior high students? Which brings us to the whole point of these battles, fostering the potential of people who will eventually run the world. Oh, you're so cool. <laughs> you think so? Come on, girls, we're gonna party till dawn! How oh, stupid Uweki has already lost three of his abilities. According to Mr. K, he started with a total of 11 talents, so that means he's only got eight left. And if he loses all eight of those abilities, he'll vanish off the face of the earth. <laughs> what are you screaming about? Annette's chasing me! Are you serious? He's coming. You better run quick. Okay. Uh, you should be ashamed of yourself preying on girls so early in the morning. I'm calling the police on you. Nobody call me a doctor. Lucky! But listen, I wasn't doing anything weird. She dropped her hanky, so I tried to give it to her. Uh, I think I get the picture. Ever since you lost the talent to be liked by girls, they really are starting to detest you. I guess there's nothing you can do about it once you lose an ability. Not necessarily. Hmm? Sure, my ability to understand stuff has gone down the tube since I lost my talent to study. A subject that would have taken one lesson to understand takes about a hundred now. But hey, if I study a hundred times more, then I should manage somehow. Do you think you can really do that? 
If I'm short on talents, then I'll just have to make up for it by working extra hard. It's not totally hopeless. I've got to come up with a plan to make sure he doesn't lose every last one of his talents. If only I could find a clue to help me think of something before Ueki vanishes completely. So that's the news, everyone. Huh? Mr. K has caught a cold, so he's off for the day. Anybody want to go and see how he's doing? <gasps> come on, who's going to volunteer to go? My chance to find a clue. Here, pick me. I'll go visit Mr. K. And Ueki's going to come with me. Uh, why me? Uh about his health and go to his house to visit him, we might be able to find out more about the Celestial King and the candidates and stuff. You're choking me here. <coughs> Hello? Huh? No one's here. Go, Oleki! Now's your chance! What do you think you're doing? I'm your teacher and I'm sick if you haven't noticed. If you're so sick, then why don't you just lie there and be quiet? Kinda ironic that the power you granted in the first place was used to tie you up. Got anything to eat? Ueki! How could you? Go ahead, I Search all you want to, but you won't find what it is you're looking for. So please, I'm begging you, don't make any more of a mess in here, okay? <laughs> all this talk about being a candidate for the King of the Celestial World, and here you are with a cold. Pathetic. Even the Celestials can get sick and die, you know. What? I thought they were immortal. Only the Celestial King is invincible. We're basically nothing more than scouts chosen by His Highness. Our job is to pick out the kids to take part in these world battles. But it's anyone's guess what criteria His Majesty used to choose us in the first place. Huh? I didn't know you had a computer, Mr. K. You don't strike me as the type. What's that supposed to mean? You've been emailing anyone in particular? Ah! Uh, uh, hmm. uh, hmm? Whoa, that's weird. There's only one icon on your desktop. The law of Ueki. Okay, let's see what's inside. Come on, stop it, I! <coughs> huh? What's this? A list of Ueki's talents? Nine, ten, eleven. There's eleven! That's what this means! And those three talents he's lost are grayed out! So if he loses the remaining abilities, then it really will happen! Ueki will vanish! There's the scent of a power user. No one fools Lee Ho. Ho oh, oh, second junior high, year two, class two, seat number 22. Lee Ho. Huh? Wait, there's something more at the bottom. What? He's got more talents? I thought Ueki only had eight left, but somehow he ended up with three more. So you saw. <gasps> yeah, I saw the file on Ueki. But what does it mean anyway? Just what it says. It's the law of Ueki. And what exactly would that be? Well, essentially, it's a blueprint for creating Ueki. That file was a blueprint? Okay, this time you totally lost me, Mr. K. Guess there's no point in hiding it now that you've seen this much. I might as well explain the whole thing to you. Mm-hmm. In the dimension that I lived in, there's this old man called the Celestial King. And let me tell you, this guy's one funky old man. Anyway, this is what he said to me. Hey, Kobayashi, don't you think the world's getting pretty mundane these days? You think so? Personally, I'm having a great time. Nah, it's seriously boring. Everyone's stuck in the same mold like cookie cutter people. Doing nothing but trying to keep up with the Joneses and live a nice little safe life. And the people who run the world are a bunch of old fogies stuck in that same rut. Do you know why the world's ended up like that? Eh? Nope, you got me there. It's because of the laws. There's a law decreeing that every single person is born with a set number of talents. So, depending on what talents the mortal has, his path in life pretty much falls into a predictable pattern. That's why I came up with the idea of these battles. It's the only way a person can gain or lose talents. It's up to them. These matches will allow people to create their own laws and break free from the mold. What if we entrusted the world to the kid who manages to fight his way through all the matches? Now that'd make life more interesting, wouldn't it? Entrust the world to a junior high kid? In other words, His Majesty wants to see what kind of human operating under what law is ultimately going to be the one to change the world. If you ask me, though, I have my doubts that Ueki's got what it takes. What's up? You all done with your lecture or what? Uh, hang on a minute. If a person can increase his talents, then what did Ueki do to get more of them? See, it works like this. A person can get an additional talent every time he defeats another power user in battle. 
Then as long as he keeps defeating other power users, Ueki's abilities will never drop down to zero? Mm-hmm. That's the answer. That's how we'll make sure he doesn't lose his talents. <gasps> An earthquake? <clears throat> hey, that's my rice ball! <laughs> Come back with my rice ball! Hey! Give me down! Uh, the metal pillar's broken! Huh? I want you to show me the one with powers. Is he the guy that broke the pillar? He must be one of them! This guy's one of Ueki's opponents! go by the name of Liho. What's your name? It's Kosuke Ueki. Look, you totally have to win this. If you do, you'll win another talent and move further away from Zero. And you could use a few extras, right? Okay, I'll fight him, but I'm not promising you anything. Who knows how it'll turn out? Oh! Oh! Me the excuses and get out there and win! I can't breathe. Until now, we thought we should avoid a fight when another power user challenged Ueki. But now, our mission is to increase his talents by getting him to defeat his opponents. Kosuke Ueki. You clearly have a hidden aura that I haven't sensed in anyone else. Ueki! Liho would be much obliged. Yeah, ditto. Uh, uh. We still don't know what his power is, but you'll have a better chance if you make the first move. This is for that rice ball. Special powers, my physical strength is more than sufficient. He trashed that tree barehanded. The guy is superhuman. I don't know if I can handle this. Ueki! Don't you think his hat is really cool or what? Wish I had it. That's all you have to say? This is serious. He hasn't even shown us his power and you're already having trouble fighting him off. Don't worry. Huh? I won't use my power on you. Years of training have made me invincible. Here's my weapon, my body of steel. You don't say. Cover somewhere. Darn, how did I get myself into that mess? <laughs> huh? Kobayashi, take my advice and make your boy surrender for his own sake, if nothing else. If he's careless, he won't be able to hold out for long. What? <laughs> What's the deal with this guy? And how come he's able to block Ueki's power with his bare hands? Is that the best you can do? In that case, watch out, because it's my turn now! For starters, you're not nearly fast enough. He dodged it! And then there's your power! You see, power and speed are the fundamentals of battle, and in both, Liho has the advantage. Oh, Ueki, I'm so afraid that he's gonna be crushed. <gasps> I've still got that Law of Ueki thing I printed out from Mr. K's computer. I wonder if there's a talent here that might help him in this battle. You're too strong. Too strong. Too strong. Too strong. The talent of a shark tongue is pointless. I win this battle, my little opponent. Too slow. Ah! It's over. Ah! 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 Very clever strategy indeed. Using a rubber tree to deflect my own power. Interesting. Now we're matched in terms of power, but I still have the edge and speed. 
<laughs> How's it look? Doesn't it suit me? I don't know. That was fast. Get ready, because I'm only getting started, mister. Hmm. Yes, it's exactly as I suspected right from the beginning. You have an unusual inner strength. So let's see if you can top this move. Huh? He disappeared. Uh, Lucky, look out below! <laughs> On your left! strong and that's without even using his powers you want to keep going mm. oh yeah oh no his opponent hasn't even played his trump card yet and nueki's not looking so good right now how on earth can liho be such a good fighter and why does he refuse to use his power liho will not <gasps> use his power in this battle who are you i am liho's sponsor the name is ganji candidate for the throne so, the battle isn't over yet. It would seem that Ueki is certainly putting up a fight. So, can you tell me what this is all about? Why won't your student use his power in the fight? Why would he? If he used his power, this wouldn't be good training for him. Come to think of it, I've never seen him use his power, not even once. There is a very good reason he's so insistent on relying solely on his physical capabilities. It all began seven years ago. Li Ho's adopted father, Li Long, was an absolutely fearless martial arts fighter. With this victory, Li Long shall be deemed the greatest martial arts master in the land! Wow! Hmm. You did it, father! Li Ho! Someday I'm gonna be a great martial arts master just like you! <laughs> Are you now? Mm-hmm. However... What's wrong, father? <sighs> Li Long fell ill to a viral epidemic. Even the greatest master can succumb to illness. So, Li Ho, you want to be a martial arts master like your dad? You think you might be able to inherit his physical talents? He wasn't even your real father. Father, watch over me from the great beyond. I promise that one day I'll become a great martial arts master that you can be proud of. From that moment, Li Ho became determined to grow stronger. It was clear that he did not possess a talent for martial arts. But seven years of determined effort have benefited him greatly. He's much stronger than he was. To Li Ho, his father was a figure that was larger than life. Even now, the boy trains to get stronger as he follows in his father's footsteps. I must say, Ueki has put up a fight. It's not like he's lost the battle yet, old man. The outcome is certain. It doesn't matter how great a power Li Ho's opponent may possess. No, the fact is that he's been able to defeat all eight contenders that he has confronted without once having to rely on his power. Stop! You've got to stop beating on him! Ueki doesn't really even want to be in these battles anyway! He's not the kind of guy who likes fighting, believe me! If you don't stop, he's going to be seriously hurt! Is that as far as you go, Kosuke Ueki? This has been very good training. Uh, uh. Huh? What the? I missed him! I cannot believe a man would try to hit me with his fist. You are a great opponent and should not be underestimated. Now. You already your tree attacks will not work huh wait what's he doing now a spring that could only mean that you're flying big time whoa look at him go ah! incredible i can't believe anyone could land an attack on the invincible leo Liho! I slipped up for a moment, but I'll finish him off now. Liho, use your power! Come on! Hey! I thought you said that he never uses his power because he's in martial arts training! Liho, use your power! I'm commanding you! 
You fool, this opponent is unlike any you have fought so far. You can't defeat him with your physical strength alone. Try and block this. Almost. It's no use. He has no intention of using the power I granted him. The power to change his own hair into a telescoping bat. It'd be so easy for him to win if he combined that power with his physical abilities. No, that's not true. This opponent, Kosuke Ueki, cannot be defeated even with the power of the bat. There's only one way to defeat him. Using a physical skill that's beyond any power. The rock-crushing technique I developed over many years of hard training. It's a physical technique, though I've never seen anything like it. He can! Gong Kutsuo! King of the cave? Prepare yourself, you won't get away from me now! Uh. I'll crush you to pieces! It's ah! <laughs> move anyway. Liho's way too strong for someone who isn't using any power. Anyway, here comes another opponent. Can you believe it? This guy looks totally weak. Wait, here comes Ueki's real enemy, his arch rival. We're told to be careful and to avoid him. What's this guy's story anyway? Next episode, The Law of Robert Hayden, the strongest power user. Oh man, I might be in real trouble this time. <laughs>